Hey, hey, it's Jamie. I'm back. Uh, I'm doing an eight and a half by 11 layout of a selfie of me. This is a photo just after I got my hair cut. Um, I've had my hair cut to my shoulders. I have had long hair now for a few years and I thought it was time for a change and obviously being a scrapbooker I needed to document this massive change so I'm going to start with just trimming down my white cardstock because this is A4 cardstock and it's a little bit too wide and I'm just struggling to get the arm out of my paper trimmer because this is a new one um, it's from Aldi I'm loving it it's really really great if you picked one up tell me how you find it but I'm really really lacking it's the first um, sort of proper paper trimmer that I've ever gotten I do have a guillotine that my cousin gave me that I do use when I'm doing multiple cuts at once but I'm loving having this paper trimmer and I'm also just going to trim this photo down it cuts photo paper okay uh, at least the photo paper I use I get my photos printed at big W here in Australia so it kind of gives a little funky edge but I think it could just be the blade is a little bit dull I'm going under the assumption that they're probably not the best blades ever but they're working perfectly for me in being a budget scrapper I'm loving using them so here I am putting some double-sided tape on the back of my photo because at this time I had no idea what I was doing um I just kind of wanted to do a layout that when I sat down um, and, you know, I held the photo in my hand and I had my cardstock background. I just kind of wanted to go with the flow. And for some reason, I wanted to do a whole bunch of paper. So I initially was like, oh, I'll use this to map the photo. And then I changed my mind. And then I go with like a pink and green theme, which is very different for me. But I do really love how it's turned out. I'm just going through this paper pad, pulling out a few papers. This is a paper pad from Kmart. I will say this, their paper pads in Kmart are really good quality, particularly their 6x6 six six ones. They are like a little bit wider than 6x6, six six, which is kind of annoying because for this layout, I was doing two inch squares. There's my head, get out, get out of the way. Um, so I'm just going to quickly cut these down to two by two and I do cut that out so you don't need to see me cutting them all out and I've got them off sitting on the side. Firstly, I decided to mat my photo with a little bit of vellum because I didn't want to do any paper layers because the background is going to be so full of paper. I like to have balance on my layouts and I don't like to have too much paper, which is silly because scrapbooking is all about the paper, let's be honest. But you know what I mean? Not too much paper going on. If I do pattern paper in the background, I don't want pattern paper on my layer for my photos so I was just checking this because I thought maybe I cut it wrong and this is when I realized oh the Kmart paper pads are a little bit bigger than six by six they're like six by like six and a quarter inch um so it's a bit a bit annoying but I make it work I just took out the ones that were a little bit too big and I'm going to actually do a little bit of mixed media underneath the paper you can't actually see it that much in camera but it's got this really like sneaky delicate layout behind it that I think is really really awesome uh this is Dilutions Ink it's water activated it's the same ink that I always use I think this is called rose quartz I did show it before so just have a look I'm doing the packaging technique I like to do wet on wet because I think it spreads a lot better so I just sprayed some water onto my cardstock and sprayed it onto the ink as well and I'm actually using a Ziploc bag because it was the only piece that I had with me so I'm just going to use some paper towel to dab up all the edges I would totally recommend doing this technique it is so fast that background right there two minutes done perfect I'm adding a little bit of extra water on top of it and I just spray it on my hands and kind of shake it on there and this gives it sort of a bleached look which I think is really cool I like to let it sit on the paper for you know, 20 seconds and then I just grab my paper towel and I mop it up, which is what I'm doing here. And as you can sort of slightly see, it picks up a little bit more of the background and I'm just cleaning off my desk because I don't want any water getting on there. You can't really see it that much, but it does sort of show up in person. This is some gold spray that I'm just shaking up. It was not working very well. Uh, and I'm just going to dab it on there for a little bit of extra pizzazz underneath it. And obviously gold is the accent colour for this. One, another really great thing about Kmart papers is they have gold foil on them. Uh, also reject store here in Australia, they have gold foil. So if you want some cheap, really pretty stuff, go there, guys. I'm not, 
I just love their stuff. I think they're fantastic. And I think if they didn't exist, I really don't think I would be scrapbooking because it's just too expensive here in Australia. Like, for example, these stickers would be normally $15. I got them on sale for $5. But even still, that's a lot of money considering, you know, I don't, I'm at uni, like I don't have that much income coming in. So I need to have the rejects store in Kmart to get my supplies. Uh, so I'm just going to put these all around my page and I'm going to just put them down using uh, some double-sided tape. This is a double-sided tape dispenser that I got um, in a kit, which I think there should be. I don't know if it comes up before this layer or after this layer. I can't remember, but uh, you'll see that I got that in a kit. Um, and I'm just going to use that and stick that down. I will cut it out, but I'm just going to show you quickly that I'm just sort of putting them down the page in a straight line. You could do this haphazardly if you wanted to. The only thing I was paying attention to was not using the same piece of paper together. So I am going to skip ahead to when this is all done. And magically it's all finished. I wish it took this quick. I wish you could do this in actual scrapbooking. I'm just cutting off the excess bits of paper that got off of the edge. I really like pulling it off the edge because it gives, um, I don't know, I think it makes it look more connected when you have things that go off the side and you cut them off because it looks like a repeating pattern, I guess, and not something that's just specifically stuck down. That's just something I really like to do and it's something I've picked up over the years. Everyone has their own style. Um, but as you can see, you can see little bits of pink poking out from behind it and I've left a little bit of a space there where my photo is going to go. I did just measure that up when I was sticking it down and I do actually decide to turn it upside down. I was going to do the photo down the bottom but I do change my mind and straight away when I put the photo down, I was like, I love this. I think I like it because it kind of looks a little bit like a like a patchwork quilt and I think it looks really really beautiful the paper is quite stunning um, so I'm just using some foam tape to stick it up because I did want the photo to sort of pop up out of the layer because I felt like it was sort of sinking in have you guys ever experienced that when you're making a layer you put something on and you're like oh it's not standing out enough foam tape foam tape I don't know why just that just that little extra two centimeters higher not even a centimeter two millimeters higher changes it um I don't know what that is in inches sorry guys here in Australia we use the metric system so two mil just you know that little tiny bit of foam pops it up and it changes the whole thing so I'd recommend getting some foam tape because if you feel like your layout is uh not got a focal element use some foam tape it works so I'm using a little bit of wet glue just to stick it down because that double-sided tape is going a little dry but I'm not going to throw it away I'm just going to use it uh, so I've stuck that down and here I am putting down the title and I think my title is It's Time. I think, I can't remember. <laughs> I made this layout about two weeks ago and I'm really getting around to doing the voiceover now. Yes, It's Time. And I finally was able to do a side title. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but throughout a few of my recent videos, I've been trying to do side titles and I just really like the way that they look. And I finally got to do it with this one. So the story behind it's time, it's time for a haircut and I do actually journal on this page which is something very different for me. I think on my last two layouts I've done journaling on but I've done journaling around the outside so it looks like a, um, a design element, not necessarily journaling. I'm not a big fan of journaling probably because my, my stories aren't that fun. Like this is just, I got a haircut and I do sort of extend it out so here I am just going to write it and that's all done and I like how it's given an extra black element to the page because those thickers are very out there and I've got really out there thickers really out there background so I needed another black element just to sort of tone it down and I actually quite like how having some journaling on there I am liking having journaling on there and I'm liking having journaling that is sort of hidden journaling I guess you have to be really paying attention to this layout to be able to see this journaling which I really really like so I'm just going to start to get to the exciting part which is embellishing I've going through this um, paper pad from Aldi and I really like it it's just it's so massive the embellishments I don't know how I'm going to use it I think I'll probably end up using it in project life for filler cards because they're just just way too big and as you guys know I really really like teeny tiny mini embellishments I just like to have little sprinkles everywhere uh, so I do decide to use this beautiful sticker sheet that I got from a haul from Kitaholic Kits that video is 
on my channel just it's not that long ago just go look at one of my older videos or in my haul playlist um I do decide to do sort of some more foam tape here on this heart just to kind of give it even more of pop standing out um I couldn't think of the word then uh, I'm also using again the glue because the double-sided foam tape is losing its stick uh, so I'm going to stick that down and then I just kind of stick it down and be happy with it I'm adding in I was going to add this little border strip in but I changed my mind and I just put it back down um that's fine if you change your mind you don't if you grab an embellishment you don't have to use it you can put it back and I'm just grabbing stuff from the sheet so I've grabbed a little tab put up the top I love tabs I want to get a tab punch I think I will that might be something I I ask for for my birthday because my birthday is coming up at the end of this month, uh, June. I'm very, very excited for that. I will be 21. Yeah, um, 21. Oh, I know for a lot of you that's probably still quite young, but I'm very excited. This is also my final year of university, so we're going to see how next year goes keeping up with scrapbooking and keeping up with Project Life because I will be very busy so sorry about that rambling just life update for you guys if you were curious uh I'm sorry I'm out of frame here I think all I'm doing is actually just sticking down some random embellishments this is some really gorgeous flowers from Aldi I used these in a previous layout and they've got this really nice um sort of like what would you call it like maybe a peach color or something and they've also got really really nice floral elements that and leaf elements that aren't sort of usual I would say so I stuck down this gold foil one and then I just grab a whole bunch of flowers and I stick them down I'm using the lightest colored flowers in the pack um and just sticking them down with some wet glue it is really easy just to stick stuff down now that I've fixed my wet glue so I will be using this from now on I do like using wet glue when you're just sticking embellishments down because you can just go you know squeeze the bottle and it's done it's very easy. So here we go. I'm back in frame a little bit better now. I'm just sticking away these embellishments back in the pack. I like to keep mine in the pack. I don't like to take them out until, you know, there's like hardly anything in there. And then I'm just grabbing a few little elements from the alpha set just to kind of tie it in together. I like how they include little things like little crosses and little chevrons because I think they really help sort of tie in your alpha together that you've done for your title if you're someone who does a title I always do titles on layouts I couldn't I just I love doing it that's my style I always did it from the start so I have continued to do it I don't think I could not do it now I like having a title it's just what I like to do anyway I'm going through some wood my wood veneer box and sticking stuff down wood veneer is my favorite embellishment if I could say one embellishment that I couldn't live without it would be wood veneer I just think it gives a nice warm element to lay out something that is very different that I don't think I get that feeling of other embellishments and I also like the smell of it too the smell of it's so nice uh here's also my resin flower box that I have color coordinated what would be yeah what's something that you guys really really like to have I do love my resin flower box and I love my wood veneer box and I also love tiny word stickers but I think I think wood veneer is the most important thing to me. So I'm just uh, sticking down some little resin flowers everywhere, just sort of scattering them so that, you know, I'm adding a little bit of extra interest and tiny little details to my clusters. That's something I really like to do and something that I think took me a while to figure out. I did sort of try to do it when I initially started scrapbooking. Um, but now I think recently in the past maybe year, I just, that's my go-to thing. It's what I love doing and it's what I think looks, you know, most best to me what makes me the happiest it might not be your style and that's perfectly fine that's the one thing I love about scrapbooking is everyone has their different style you know some people have cut files some people have mixed media some people have patent paper backgrounds everyone has their own thing that they love and I love that everyone supports people's choices because at the end of the day this is it's our memories and you know people who create content are sharing their memories with you so if you could just you know be supportive of everybody. Um, here I am using a roll stamp just to add in some things. And I think it says like sweet memories or you're beautiful, which I know is not the nice, you know, sound a bit up myself saying that about myself. But looking back at this in 15 years, you know, when I'm 15 years older, I probably won't think that about myself anymore. So it's nice to have that documented. And I think that's more or less this layout done. Yes, it is. 
here is the jazz fingers and I'm going to show you a close-up here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some inspiration of some close-up photos for the end. Bye guys!